Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin Alive, not Red Knight. And uh, I'm here to show you uh, video making tips for Mac for Onverse 101. So what you're going to want to do is go to Safari, and then uh, wait, then you're, gonna, you're going to want to go to Apple.com, which is the only trusted site I would honestly do for screen recorders for Mac, besides ScreenFlow, but ScreenFlow is not good. So you just want to go to the Apple Store, and then go to the search bar, and type in Screenium. What I use that nobody uses, it's called Screenium. You just search Screenium in here. So you get a result. Downloads video Screenium. And uh, it basically just looks, just looks like this. You can read it over and everything. Uh, and you just hit download. And once you've downloaded this, uh, it should need a serial code or like it'll let you record, but only for a few amount of uh, seconds or minutes. So uh, when you download it, it should come up in the downloads folder. When you when you click on it, you should get a camera lens with a you know Mac um, cursor on it. You All right. From here, what you're gonna want to do is, you, is you're gonna want to. Uh, if you can find a license, just click license and put in a license key for it. So basically, um, Screenium, very simple, fixed area, full screen, mouse area, single window. The, the best one, honestly, is uh, fixed screen. And from here, you can just choose your dimension, what you want. Say, I want the half of the troll face or the eye of the troll face. Just drag it around. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. And you can hit record. And then it will see starting up in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then when you're done, you're just going to want to go right click on the uh, icon on your dock. Hit capture. Scroll down to stop. Alright. Now, when you get to this, it'll take you to your media library. And this is where you can find all of your clips that you've re recorded. Also, if you'd like to add audio and other stuff, you can play with the settings with the audio. You can add built-in camera, you can add if you want to see your mouse and all that. Just a lot of stuff you really have to play around to get with. Now, the basics are the video and the media library. And as immediately after you're done recording a clip, it will take you to the media library. Thus being said, all you want to do is when you see the selected movie that you just took, just hit, just click it, highlight it, and click export. Click OK, and it, it will export hopefully to your desktop if you cho if you do choose. So I'm gonna make this onverse video uh, demo, and that's gonna go to my desktop right right here. Now the editing system that you really want to use, and is this comes standard on all Macs, so it will definitely be good. Um, all you need is iMovie, and iMovie comes standard on all Macs, so that shouldn't be a problem. Upgrades do cost money. Yes, this is iMovie 11. This did cost me uh, money to upgrade, but if you buy a brand new a Macintosh or you have an older version of the Macintosh, uh, things will basically stay the same. Basically, find your event library, whether that being up here or here, and click New Event. Then click Import Movies. Now go to find your wherever you put the file and click it and click Import. Now when you do this, it'll take a, a couple seconds depending on how long long or big the clip is and it should appear somewhere in your library see right here so with that being said uh, once you have all your clips downloaded into your library you would probably want to start a new project starting a new project would just be going if this is if this is what you, you start up in all you're gonna want to do is go to project library click add now there, there, there's a lot of different um, movie trailer themed stuff that you that you can get and that's awesome but honestly you just want to go with, with no theme to begin with and just if, if you want I'd, I'd recommend definitely playing around with stuff because that's the only way you'll really learn so anyways project I'm just gonna go to, to no, no theme and then I'm gonna make this on verse test on verse test and that's gonna, this is gonna bring me up a brand new project from here you're gonna want to take your clip and then you will uh, just highlight it, drag it to your timeline. Now from, from here, you, you can edit. If you have iMovie 11, you will have you, you will see all of the uh, all of the voice recognition on there, and and from there you can lower or put your volume higher and you can delete certain parts of the clip and everything. If not, if you have an older version, 
then you're gonna wanna have to click on the audio clip itself and ed edit it old school style, <laughs> which I will uh, have more in depth for old school and new school, I guess you can say, in the description below. Now from here, you can edit a, a, a lot of things. The main thing you have here is your clip trimmer. Now your clip trimmer will bring up uh, a thing or a window down here where you can trim your clip to, to however big you want it. Now this on verse clip, I honestly do not care for. So we're gonna take a, a clip of just something random. Um, what's something random we have here? How about us dancing in on verse? This is, this is me dancing in on verse. Now this is one of the videos we have coming out. This is a little sneak peek. But from here, what you can do is, since, you know, the music's a little too high, so I'm gonna bring that down. That'll play the music a lot shorter. Now, if you right click on the, I mean, if you click on the little gear here, you'll get a, a clip trimmer. Say the clip's too long and it, it doesn't fit with your music. You just trim it to the music, per se, and it will be that short. Uh, now, some other things that you, that you you can do that I try, I will not really get, get into, uh, or if you just click on the clip, it will bring up clip, inspector, video inspector, and audio inspector. <clears throat> and here you, you can add video effects, which is always makes a, a really good video. I mean, honestly, we don't see very ma many videos with effects that are appropriate for um, what the, the video is. So definitely start pl playing around with that. You've got audio effects, if you've got custom voiceovers. All that stuff, you, you, you can make it faster, make it shorter, make it in reverse, whatever you need. Stabilization, that's all in there. You, you can change the color settings of the video, the audio settings, all that. Really, you just mainly have to play around with it. But we'll, an, another basic thing that you will really want to know is the cropping and rotation. Now, you've got fit to screen, which is your normal fit to screen, and then you've got crop. And you can just, once you get in here, you, you can just take and drag however close you want to your, your character. And you can just have it that close for the whole video. Now honestly, in my opinion, that does not look very well. So what I can do is I can go to crop no case I can go to I can go to Ken Burns. Ken Burns gives you two cropping windows, one that starts and one that, that finishes. So the the clip will start here and then it will follow the arrow and, and move in an outward position. Well, like so giving your, your video some depth and giving it really the the finesse that really will pop, make your video pop. So as you can see, my panning is going outward. Now, another thing you can do is you can add title transitions. Now there's not many to uh, actually really work with. You really honestly gonna wanna have to be creative. And as you, all, all you're really gonna, gonna wanna do is just take one that you one of the uh, credits that looks good to you. Let's let's do zoom. That, I mean that's pretty generic. And uh, you'll just delete. And, I'll, and I, I'll, I'll put test here. And again, the prob I'm pretty sure there's about 200 preloaded fonts on the Macintosh. I, I want all you're gonna want to do is hit show fonts, and then you've got all the, the stuff to play with, all the bells and whistles, which will. I'll ultimately make your, your video that greater, even though I don't know why that didn't show up. Oh, test. There you go. So, other than that, you've got transitions here, maps and animic, animatics, kind of Apple shit, doesn't really pertain to <clears throat> on vids and video making in general. You can add your, all your, your music here, all, all you have to do is take click and drag and you can drag and you can make you can mute the music you, you can delete a part like I said if you have the iMovie 11 etc etc and you can on all versions you can make it shorter or longer so you can make it in in the end you can have a, a clip that's 10 times better than this this is just a test clip but you, you can have clips like this in the end I guess yeah so other than that that's all um I think the last thing you're gonna want to know is, for me personally, and there are not not a lot of many Onverse guide makers. I really want to see some more. So if we can get more, the more the merrier. I honestly love making guides. I love seeing people's guides. 
So one big thing that is really good to um, to know is how to record your voice. Now all Macintoshes have a built-in mic um, built in, so that's awesome. Now I'm gonna narrate this. I'm gonna show you how to narrate a simple clip. As you can see, this is an old old video I got from YouTube from the slide. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to narrate. It's kind of obvious that the microphone. All you wanna all you're gonna wanna do hit the microphone and you can change all you know built-in input built-in microphone whatever whatever you need noise reduction that's always nice to have a barking dog you can change that it's very very awesome and then then you're just gonna want to click three two and one and then it will record my audio so like this guy's jumping and now he's running toward the cannon etc etc and then when you're done you just hit space and then exit out and then we can hear play. And then it will record my audio. So like this guy's jumping and now he's running toward the cannon, etc. etc. And then when you're done, you just exactly just like that. So now that you guys know how the video make in onverse, I'd like to get some feedback from this. Was this video helpful? If you want more guides for me, please just leave it all down in the comments below. And if you leave this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Uh, I do spend a lot of time editing this. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we hope to see you on our next OnVid vid, which will be probably a review of the new instance which is coming out, which we're really excited for. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks.